every step of the way, Oprah seemed to have a show um, on the mom millionaires to show me that anybody can can create a really great idea and turn it into a business. And then she had a show on self-publishing um, to kind of give me that whole idea that I don't need a traditional publisher. If this is such a great idea, I can just do it myself. And then she had a show on um, her trip to Africa. And it really brought to home that, you know what, what I was creating wasn't just about, you know, helping my own kids get ready for kindergarten, but it really had a global message as well that there were many kids all over the world that were, were really interested in education and it all starts at kindergarten. So it really was a series of Oprah shows that, that really kind of pushed me in the, the right direction and made me believe that I could do this. Stacey Cannonberg is definitely someone whose story, if it doesn't inspire you, I don't know what will. You can find out more information about Stacy and her publishing company by going to www.cedarvalleypublishing.com. That's www.cedarvalleypublishing.com. Now, as I mentioned, as Stacy's story might inspire those who haven't even written their book yet, for those that might just be in the process, I'm sure you're looking for those writing tips to help you along. Well, on this show, we're going to be introducing you to two authors, authors Jeff Rivera and also author Mark Eller. Both of them are going to be sharing 60-second writing tips. This week's come from Jeff Rivera. He's going to share with you the importance of having an author's platform. Take a listen. Hey, I'm Jeff Rivera, author of Forever My Lady by Grand Central Publishing, formerly known as Warner Books. What's the number one factor in getting published? Is it your talent? Is it your concept? No, nowadays the number one factor in getting published is your author's platform. Now what in the world is an author's platform? It's your built-in fan base. I can hear you now. Wait a minute, Jeff. Are you saying I actually have to have a fan base before I get published? Did you hear what I said? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. It sounds like a cart before a horse, right? Now listen, it's not required, but it doesn't hurt. Remember, this is a business first, an art second. Bring your author's platform, a fan base of thousands to the table with your book, and you'll increase your chances of 10 times for not only landing an agent, but landing a book deal too. To find out how to build your author's platform, visit GumboWriters.com, and that's your 60-second writing tip of the day. Whether you are a parent, a young person with a dream, or someone who is striving to succeed against all odds, there is one book that you should read. The Marquise Hill Story, From the Cradle to the Bowl by author Sherry Hill, is a compelling story of the life of New England Patriots lineman Marquise Hill, whose 24-year existence was tragically cut short in May 2007 during a ski accident in Louisiana. Told by his mother as only she could, this book provides a candid account of a little boy growing up in Louisiana. It's narrated from the perspective of a grieving mother who walked this journey with her son, giving all of herself as a constant source of guidance and support. The Marquis Hill story, From the Cradle to the Bowl, is a tell-all, and aims not only to speak to sports lovers, but especially to those who have experienced loss and grief. It is candid and pulls no punches in its sheer honesty and plain exposition of facts and circumstances surrounding the life and death of a young man who had not yet lived to his full potential. So no matter what your lot in life, the Marquis Hill story from the cradle to the bowl will speak to you. To find out more information about the author and the book, visit www.fromthecradletothebowl.com. That's www.fromthecradletothebowl.com.